What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here. And today we're back on some more Ark Survival Evolved because I am going to be showing you a brand new. Well, I don't know if it's brand new, but a building trick that I discovered. Anyway, I, like I said, I don't know if it's brand new. Other people probably have discovered it, but anyway, I'm going to show you how I did it. So, the building trick is dun 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 this. It's to get like a decent slope on your sloped roofs. So as you can see here are normal sloped roofs. They go up gradually. But sometimes a building can look really dull and boring just with those gradual slopes. So you want something that's extreme. Them slopes. The ones behind it that are more diagonal are actually really cool. Uh, so yeah. I'm going to show you how you can get that, and with this trick, you can do a lot with it. As you can see, I've actually got railings on these. It's actually really cool. You can do more decorative features anyway. So, I'm going to show you. Before we get started, though, because <laughs> this is probably going to annoy a lot of people, unfortunately, you can only do this trick on a raft. Yes, you heard me right. On a raft or a speedboat, you can only do this trick on one of them. You cannot do this on land. It's just impossible to do on land. But, as you can see there, if you just park your raft right on land like that, it kind of looks like it's on land anyway. So, it's not a oh, huge like deal. Uh, but anyway, I love building on rafts. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you on this speedboat. Let's just put that in. So we can get on. We want to place our first pillar on that one. Oh, I nearly made that then. You can do it on this as well. Like so. There you have it. We're both starting off the same. I'm just showing you on both refs to make sure you understand that you can do it. Put your foundation there. Foundation there. One. Oh, there's a th side of it on both of them. Like I said, I'm just showing you on both. You can only you can do it on one if you so wish. Then a normal ceiling or two if you so wish. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting ladders here, and we got to make sure we can climb up them. Put a single ladder there and there. Make sure you can actually climb up and say pick up like this because that's kind of annoying. You need to be able to climb up these ladders. Even if you have, even if you can fly, you know, you need the ladders. You will not want to fly to do this trick. It gets a lot harder to line everything up. <laughs> so we can climb on that one. And we can climb on that one. So, now back to pillars. So, on your first middle foundation, we're going to be placing however many you really want. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, so there is a, on the wooden raft, there is a limit of seven um, pillars high. <coughs> uh, but then we're going to place that. Like so, we're going to place walls on either side of this, like that. We're going to go back to our ladders and build these up a decent amount. Roughly about the same amount as the pillars. So I believe there's like five or six there. We're going to do the same for this one, but on the actual speedboat, which is the metal one, you should be able to go up higher. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you can go up nine. So we want to place that at the far as we can go. Nope, not there. We don't want that one. There. Not there. And here. Yet again, build up your ladders. You really are going to need these, and these are not just for luck. You will need the ladders. You can get rid of the ladders after this trick is already set up, but 
this is the process that you will need to use to get this started. So let's start off on the smaller one. So once you're roughly this height, you want to get a slope, normal slope ceiling and okay we're gonna have to go one down by the looks of it because it won't sometimes it was green and then it's not green and then okay it's too high so we're gonna have to go one down that's not a problem okay we might have to go one down on that as well okay that's a bit annoying let's just place it place our walls again so get our slope ceiling and snap it in a position so whichever position is open, as you can see right here, this has got the open spot. You want to go onto that side with the ladder. You climb up the ladder. Now we're going to be wanting to use a fence foundation. So let me just put them in. So as you can see, you start like roughly down and you bring it up. And you'll see what happens here. Look at that foundation. That foundation at the moment is placing really strangely. But we're going to keep bringing it up. Bringing it up, bringing it up, bringing it up. And as you can see, now that foundation, fence foundation, at a slight angle. We don't want that one. Keep bringing it up ever so slightly until it flips like that. So we get that angle. We want the fence foundation facing us. So let's place it down. We can now jump off the ladder. Get some more pillars ready. And now we can actually snap a pillar into that foundation. So we want to snap two. <clears throat> Now that's how this trick is started. So we're going to put a ceiling, ceiling either side, like so. And then we get another foundation. And now look at how this snaps. That's a foundation that's snapping. That's absolutely mental, right? So there you have it. Now you basically just do the same for the other side, so what you want to do, you get rid of this slope seal, uh, sloped roof right here. You want to place another one down so the open end is facing the opposite way now. Like so. You get back on your ladders on this side. You climb up, you get your handy dandy fence foundation out. You slowly creep up until it that fence foundation flips towards you. Jump off. And then place your pillars like so. And then get your foundations like so. Like I said, they are foundations that I just placed. They're not ceilings. As you can see, both sides are foundations like so. Really cool. Now, if you want to, you can actually just delete to make it look a bit better. It all depends on what you're building. But most of this, once you've got it all set up, you can pretty much... Just get rid of everything just like I am doing right here. Just to show you that you don't have to do that. Right, how to get the ones in the middle. So these are just normal ceilings. These are flat ceilings. I'm going to put it out right here, the red marker. These are just flat ceilings. But when they go over, they snap at an angle. So that covers that in. And then you can just also cover these foundations up as well. If you want a nice, even <coughs> base... If you don't, you can just leave them like that. You don't have to put these over. But then you can just extend these like you can with normal found fence foundations and just go way, way down like, I've, like I'm doing right here. And if you get like too far away, all you can do is just snap a foundations to the ceilings and then just continue on if you really wanted to. That's how ridiculous this trick is. It's really, really cool, really weird, but that allowed you to get that steep angle on the roof. So that is how you do it. That's how easy you do it. Now, obviously, if you wanted this facing the other way, you would obviously put the another foundation here and a foundation there, and then you'd put your ceilings like so, and then you'd put your ladders like this, uh, and can you go it up? And then you so on and so on. I'm going to show you on. I'm going to show you on the metal one, on the actual speedboat. So we're going to place our this right here, this right here. Boom. We're going to place our ladders down. Oh, that didn't. That wasn't what I was meant to do. 
Now, I don't know if he'll let me build up here, you know. But we're going to place these walls down the opposite way. Right, let's just experiment. See, no. Okay, we are going to have to go down one. That's not a problem, though. I did kind of expect it. <clears throat> so, walls. Our normal sloped foundation. We'll bring it this side because that's where I've built up from. Build our ladders. Get on our ladders. Go up to the top. Get our fence foundation out. Creep up until it flips towards us. Then we'll snap in things like so. Pillars like so. <clears throat> and there you have it. So then, obviously, you just do the trick again. You put two ceilings either side, uh, top and bottom, for these to snap properly. And there we go. And there we have it again. Now you just do the exact same for the opposite side. We can now just get rid of that. And it does destroy the fence foundation, as you can see, but these pillars stay in place. They do not go anywhere. So, the thing is with the ladders, is because you can't get, like, directly center all the time. If you, if we make our fence foundation and we go up, as you can see, it's, it's kind of off. And every slight movement, left or right, it, you, you can't tend to get it, like, perfectly straight. That's why the ladders are useful. So, quickly, yet again, I'm going to show you from this side. <clears throat> but once you've actually got your roof up and you're happy with it, you can remove all these la ladders. I'm gonna, sh like, I'm going to show you. So let's just quickly jump in here, get our fence foundation out. So now we're perfectly lined up. And boom. No, we can jump off. Get our pillars, and now we can just snap them again, like so. All... Okay, that's above the platform too high. I have built it at the real limits. I should, really shouldn't have done, but uh, I don't think it... Yes, it will. There we go. And boom. As you can see, there we go. We have now got... Not that one. There we go. Now we've got it done. As you can see, really, really easy trick to do. And once you've like, done it for like three or four times you'll get so used to doing it that it'll just be second nature when you're trying to do a roof like this but there you have it moles that was the little trick that i found out really uh, weirdly just experimenting to give you those dramatic slopes so yeah i hope this helps hopefully you mortals can come up with some really cool designs if you do Take a picture of them and let me know either on my social media or you can go over to my community tab, uh, post it there, join my Discord. Like All the links that you really need are down in the description. So take a picture of your really cool designs and let me know what you come up with. Because I've come up with this one. Um, that was just a mess around to see what I could actually do with it once I had found it. And then you got the normal slopes on this side. It doesn't look right, does it? It just doesn't look right. But I have got maybe... A, uh, two builds coming up that use this technique, this trick, to, to make some really cool designs. It's off in the distance, so you can't really see it, which is good. But that video is going to be coming up with a really cool speed build. Um, but anyway, I hope this helps. hope you enjoyed. And like I said, if you come up with a really cool design that you want to show off, let me know. And take a picture of it. And I'll see you models in the next video.